I have a really random collective haul. So everything that I have today is it's like from a million different places. So I've got stuff, I'm just looking at what I have in front of me. I've got stuff from Bath and Body Works, Sephora, Ulta, CVS, a hot look order, Aldo, Nordstrom, and this really awesome boutique I actually found through Pinterest um, called Impressions. And it's an online store and I believe they have a boutique like based out of Arkansas. I think it's Arkansas. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself here. But um, they have really awesome stuff and I just want to share them with all of you. Okay, so first I'll go through like the little beauty items I have. I just have them all in this little Tory Burch shoe box here. Um, first I'll start with drugstore stuff, I guess. So the first thing I got at CVS was the Skinny Girl Body Solutions Soothing and Firming Body Lotion. You can see that in like the back, it just looks like this. I'm really liking this. I mean, I don't know if I'm noticing it firming anything. I feel like I'm not at the age where I really need much firmed. But um, I'm really liking this. It smells really good. And there's like a whole line of Skinny Girl products at CVS now. So I want to try more of them out. Next thing I got at CVS was this. It's the Maybelline Color Show Nail Liqueur. So I guess Maybelline started doing um, their own nail polishes now. But this one says shredded. I think I meant to just get black. Does shredded mean crackle? If anyone knows if that means crackle, I mean, I guess I could just try it out. But I think it means crackle, and I did not mean to get crackle. I meant to get black. But yeah, they're really little bottles, but that's that. Next from the drugstore. Okay. Next I picked up, let's see, yeah. Did I pull them here? Yeah. Two of the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. Holy crap, you guys, these are amazing. These are so amazing. So, one of thing funny, I was actually at CVS in the mall. I, like, swatched these in the back of my hands, and then I was like, eh, whatever. And then I went into, was it Nordstrom? I don't like, Lord and Taylor or Nordstrom. And I went to the Clinique counter, and you know, oh, what are they called? You know the Clinique things that look just like this? I'm totally blanking on what they're called. I picked one up and I swatched it that I thought was like similar to this color. And I was like, oh my god, they're exactly the same, except this was like $8 and those are $16. So these are exact dupes for whatever those Clinique things are called. But um, anyways, the colors I got. I got Ren... I cannot pronounce that. Rendezvous? Okay, looks like that. <laughs> and then I got Precious, which is the nude. And I'll just swatch some on the back of my hand here. Again, they're bombs, so it's like kind of hard to see what they look like on the back of my hand. But that's the one I can't pronounce. <laughs> and that one's the nude. Okay, next from the drugstore, I picked up the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle, Circle Eye Roller. It's the one that's tinted. I have the um, anti-puffiness. just looks like that. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but looking forward to trying it. I wonder, it doesn't look like there's too much coverage, but it's really kind of cool feeling. That's what it looks like rubbed in. Doesn't look like much, but I'll try that out and see what it looks like. Okay, and then I had one little random thing I picked up from Nordstrom, like makeup thing. I have a couple clothes, but makeup thing. I just got another one of my Bobbi Brown correctors. I'm in Bisque. If you guys watched my foundation routine, you see how I use this. Just looks like that. Again, bisque. So yeah, I haven't run out of my other one yet, but I'm like about to, so that's why I picked that up. Okay, next, Ulta. So the first thing I got at Ulta, I also used in my foundation routine video. And it's the Napoleon Paradis, I think that's how you pronounce it, Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer with a vitamin E and chamomile extract. And this is the 50 milliliter or 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. Just looks like this. The one thing I hate is that it's like a screw off top instead of like a pop. Um, but this stuff is so good. I'm obsessed with it. I've used it for a little over a week now. It's really amazing. And I find that while I do have dry skin, I do get oily in the summer. But this completely controls it. Like, not noticeable at all. My makeup stays looking exactly the same as it did in the morning as when I get home from work in the afternoon. So, awesome. The next thing I got from Ulta is... The Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner Pencil. What do they call it? Glide On Eye Pencil. In Zero, this is just the black. And I ran out of my other eyeliner and was like, why not? Everyone says this stuff's amazing. So that's what it looks like there. It's not as jet black as I would have liked. I feel like Perversion is more jet black. 
Am I wrong about that? Um, but yeah, oh, I just got something in my eye. Um, but yeah, so that's what that looks like. I've been using this on my tight line and waterline, and I love it. Last makeup item uh, is my Too Faced Amazing Face Powder. I'm in the color Perfect Nude. Again, I used this in my foundation routine video. This is what it looks like on the inside, and then it actually lifts up, and then you get a little poof there, but I just used my e.l.f. Kabuki, as you saw in my foundation routine video. So, love that. It's a really good color. I like it because it's not translucent. I find that translucent powders can look a little weird on my skin, just because they, like, you kind of, like, see the whiteness of the powder. This one has just enough of a, kind of a warmth to it that gives my skin color while also, also, also giving coverage, so I like that. Last thing I got from Ulta is this OPI nail polish that I really, really, really want to use because my nails look really bad right now. Um, but it's called Gargantuan Green Grape. Okay, next is just some accessories that I got from Hot Look. Um, I'm totally not remembering the names of the companies these are from, but I got them in a Hot Look order. So the first thing I got are these earrings. <laughs> They're like super neon and super cool. They're really big though, if you can see like in proportion to my ear. But I feel like they're really cute, and I'd like, if I was wearing like a black dress or something, these would look really cool. Or even a brightly colored dress. I don't know. Those are just some earrings I got. Another pair of earrings I got are these ones here. And I don't know if you guys saw my like little return hello video, but I was wearing this blue necklace. Um, and I got these because I thought they would go with that. And they actually do pretty well. So, these are really pretty. I love the color. I actually got one more pair of studs, but they're in my car, and they're just like white hexagons um, that have like little sparkly starfish in them. They're really pretty. Okay, and then these are the last earrings I got. These are totally weird because they're humongous. Like, I don't know how to wear this. What? Yeah, so I got these earrings. They're ginormous. I don't know if I'll wear them, but they were like $4 from Hot Alright, and the last accessory I got from Hot Look is this bracelet, and it's like a Chan Lu knockoff, sorry Chan Lu, but it was like $9, um, again I don't remember the company, but it's really pretty, I'm obsessed with it. Alright, next I'll do Bath and Body Works, so I got two candles at Bath and Body Works and three body washes and a hand soap, but one of the body washes is in my shower and my hand soap is at my sink, so I forgot to bring those over, sorry. First I'll do my candles. One of them is lit right now. So the first candle I got is called Passion Flower. Doesn't it look pretty? Oh, one of the candle things just went out. Um, but yeah, Passion Flower smells amazing. Um, just smells like summery flowers. I don't know, I'm really bad at describing scents, so sorry. Second one I got is Pineapple Orchid. And this is like, here, this one I can actually... It smells like some kind of really yummy fruity drink. Kind of like a smoothie. Yeah, it totally smells like a smoothie. So, I really like that too. So I got those two candles. And I got three of their shower gels, um, but these are two of them. The third one I got is called Pink Chiffon, and I'm using it now, so that's why I don't have it here. But this one is Midnight Pomegranate, and this one is Carried Away. So Midnight Pomegranate, you can totally guess what that smells like. Pomegranate. I love pomegranate. Carried Away smells like kind of like a field, like a really clean field. Does that sound right? That sounds really weird. And next I just got this pair of shoes from Aldo. Um, and they were actually, I think, 30% off. So they were like $15 or so, I think, about 15 or 20. Um, and so I just picked these up. They're really, really cool because they're like, they're like this like fake snake skin. Can you see that? Yeah, I've worn them already, but they're awesome. Okay, now into clothing items. So, you can see behind me, I've got like a bunch of stuff piled right there. Um, but I'm going to start with what I'm wearing right now. I got this shirt from Nordstrom. It's this really awesome kind of like Tiffany blue color. And it's like a high low. The back is like longer, but um, I really love the color. Next is another dress from um, Nordstrom. And this is what it looks like you can see and then so it's kind of like flowy and like loose on top and like kind of tighter on the bottom but it's not too tight on me and the back just has this cool cutout detail and yeah it's really pretty it was cute for the fourth 
So, yeah, it's a good summer dress. Next, we're going to have, like, a random Forever 21 interjection, but, um, I got this dress from Forever 21. <laughs> just looks like this. This was $19. I really like the pleating on the bottom here. It's pretty. And it's a short dress. I don't know if you can see that. But, yeah. And then the back is kind of cool because it kind of is, like, open. I don't know if you can see that. But then there's, like, still material in there to keep everything covered. I don't know. I think it's a really cute, pretty dress. It's kind of fancier. I feel like this isn't just, like, a casual summer dress. All right. Another random place I went was Urban Outfitters. Um, and I got this jean shirt type thing here. Um, and I got it in a bigger size so that it was kind of like loose and flowy on me. Um, this was $64 and I believe it was on sale. Don't remember how much. But um, yeah, it just looks like this. It's really nice. It's really light, which I really like. Because you know, some of those jean, jean shirts might as well be jean jackets. They're so heavy. So yeah, I like that. Okay, last item from Nordstrom. Again, sorry this order is so random. But it's basically the same shirt I have on now, but it's white with a leopard collar. So I thought it was really cute. In summary. And again, these are all sheer, so the way I'm wearing this now is I just wear like a lightly colored bra. Um, like a tan bra. And it honestly, you can't see it. So, that's that. Now these next two dresses are from that boutique I was telling you about called Impressions. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to link it down below. I honestly, I found it through Pinterest, as I said. I was like going through like women's apparel on Pinterest or something. And I kept seeing the same model pop up with awesome clothes on. So like I was like, okay. I clicked through, went to the website, and like found these amazing clothes. So, I got two dresses from them. Um, I'll do the one I got first. Because I actually did this on two separate orders. So the first one I got is this really awesome maxi dress. Um, it's pink on top and then orange on the bottom and it's just long and like flowy all the way to the bottom. Um, but it's really well made. Like, I don't know if you can tell. It's like really well made. And the back is just racer back. Um, this is made by Yahada USA. So yeah, it's really, really comfy and really cute and I'm like totally beyond obsessed with it and I wear it probably way too much. But, um... Yeah, for all you short people who think you can't wear maxi dresses, you can. Maybe with some heels, but I've worn this without heels and it works. So that's that, and I believe this dress was like $40 or something. Like, it's not an expensive boutique. It's like very reasonable and awesome. Okay, this next dress is like totally... I'm obsessed with it. I just got it in the mail yesterday. Let's see, let's get my hair off of it. So... It's a strapless dress, but it just has these clear things for hanging. Um, it's got this black, like, top, but then it's this hot orange color, and it's a high-low hemline. So, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I can't show the whole dress, but... Hopefully you could see that better, but it's just this gorgeous sheer material, and then the back... If you can see, it's like open except for that strap there. I'm obsessed with it. It's so pretty. Alright guys, so that's it for my totally random haul. I really hope you guys like it. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products or any of the clothes or about Impressions Boutique, um, I'll put information in the bottom bar, but feel free to comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, yeah, so have a great day. Bye!